I met Victor because they did the Love and Skate collab and I went to meet Stu, like Love and Skate Stu, at a skate park near my house. Yeah, we just got talking and at first I did the watch, like he'd sent me some glasses that were like the ones that were for snowboarding. But I asked if I could get them for cycling and then I said to him, like, these would be really cool if you ever wanted to do a, a collab and he was into it. So I, he sent me like a photo of the glasses and I redrew it and then just added the colours and was like, I think this would be cool, like fast life, slow death, heavy metal wrestling sort of colourway and just thought that would be kind of funny to use. And uh, yeah, the first sample was even good straight away. Like I was, I was into it straight away. I thought it was cool. I think we just talked about what we should do for an activation and I was just saying to Victor, you know, like if we're doing cycling glasses and we're doing like mud guard and we're doing like cycling hat, then maybe we should actually do some cycling. And then I'd heard through Jody Barton, he is a well renowned illustrator originally from London, but he lives in Copenhagen. There was like a good cycle route from Copenhagen to Stockholm originally was that the direction we were doing it. And then when we got talking and we were so we could do the launch in Stockholm and I was like well let's ride to Copenhagen like that that would be the good way of doing it it's just I just ride all the way there Yeah, we, we met Johannes there, and then we bumped into uh, Mickey, who we'd met the uh, Alley Cat. He just luckily turned up in the same place as us. Yeah, I mean, the, the scenery is amazing, isn't it? Like, it's like funny because after a while, you're just like, oh, another beautiful lake. Oh, some more amazing forests. You're just like, oh, like another amazing view of like two lakes. I never realized how sort of vast Sweden is. So we were all riding completely different bikes, but we all managed to like ride at the same pace, do all the same stuff. I mean, there's no way any of us could, you couldn't have done it on a road bike. Like some of the roads, the map tells you that it, it's it's a road. And then when you get there, you're like, this is not a road. This is just like a dirt track. Like, yeah, it was, it was amazing because we did every terrain. It was like any sort of terrain you can imagine from very, very smooth, fast rolling roads to like gravel that goes uphill to like just giant stones with sand. so much more when you're riding and you're not in a car because you're just going along and along and along and you see stuff so it's actually really really cool i'm pretty pleased with, with the way it all came out the glasses work really well functionally and um i even managed to ride it right over a set and they they broke but i put back together really easy which i was quite shocked by so that was that was pretty funny that i managed to run a pair of glasses over and then just put them back together so they're tough they ride tough and the mudguards work and the hats work, so yeah, it's good.